everyone, I'm Destroy Mariko and I'm back with another Punk Rave Australia review. Today we're going to be looking at a red and black goth punk set, uh, which has some military and vampire sort of vibes. Before we get into that though, if you could subscribe either to my channel or Punk Rave Australia's channel or both, that would be really helpful. And I do have to let you know also that everything today was sent to me as a gift, but I'll always give you my honest opinion in every review. Alright, so here we are on the website and we'll start with the punk skeleton staples top. If we look at the description, a women's punk skeleton staples top is made from ultra soft black elastic knitted fabric and high quality square metal eyelets. Wide round neckline front and back, contrasting red seam stitching decoration around shoulder area, long sleeves, the roping in the staples is not adjustable. So let's have a look at some pictures and as you can see like the overall shape is a pretty basic like long sleeve top but it's these little decorations that sort of give it what's going on. So uh, yeah, the red stitching and these interesting decorations at the front um, just makes it a little bit extra. And you can see the close up there. I like that they're a kind of a square shape, like that's different. I haven't really seen much of that. And then yeah, the stitching on there is really fun. Got some pieces of the fabric. And yeah, uh, here's the size chart. So that's the top for the outfit today. And we'll move on to the pants. Um, so these are the Dark War denim, denim pants in black and red. There's also a black version, which I'll show you in a moment. In the description, our women's punk Dark War denim pants black and red is made from dark elastic woven fabric with contrasting red fabric, waist with high grade metal skull head button and belt loops, one side with distressed mesh, snap button pocket and two strap flat rivet decoration, other side with slanting zipper and drawstring roping that curves around to the back, regular plus size available, colors black or black and red. Um, yeah, so let's have a look at this and this is really fun, like this is the one that I've been waiting on the longest to get um, because it was on pre-order which uh, yeah I haven't done before and um, yeah so it's got this interesting look I, like I really like that pattern that's going on in here you can see it with the top um, how they match up together you know with the black and red theme I think that's really fun and um, yeah as you can see so this this stitching here comes back on this side um, so it all connects up some interesting stuff going on here's a side view We've got a little pocket. Now, I don't know if that's a functional pocket or just a decorative pocket. I, I think it's probably decorative, but we'll have a look when we actually open it up. Close up of the stitching and um, yeah, little buckle things, the zipper. And uh, yeah, and then here's the size chart for this one. So the top was combined sizes. This is individual sizes. All right, so I'll compare that to the black version. And as you can see, like there's less contrast. So I personally prefer the red and black one just so that you can actually, you know, get the vibe of all that, the, the different decorations. It's a bit harder to see on this, like especially in a picture like this. Some of those black details disappear from a distance, although up close you'll still get that effect. So if you're not into the red color, it'll work nicely with your sort of more all black gothic kind of look. Um, otherwise it's pretty much the same. All right, moving on. So this is the punk cyber military long coat in black and red. So once again, there is an all black version, but we're going with a black and red theme. If we go to the description, our women's punk cyber military long coat black and red is made from soft dark woolen cloth with good drapeability and red trim. Small stand-up collar that can be folded down when zipper lowered. Uh, coat front with long zipper with pillow zipper pendant. Shoulders with pentagram hardware. Red trim along upper coat seam lines to enhance cyber look. Long sleeves with two adjustable cracked leather belt buckle straps and cracked leather panel with drawstring roping lower arms. Tapered waistline with inverted U decorative seams and two high quality metal D rings. Back with adjustable cross belt buckle strap. Regular plus sizing available colors black or black and red. The beautiful coat has a nice weight, 1.14 kilograms. Now, I don't really know how much all my clothes weigh, <laughs> but that's an interesting detail they chuck in there. So let's have a closer look. And yeah, those red seams, it does bring out a bit of a cyber vibe in it, um, but also a bit of a vampire military vibe, is, in my opinion. And you can see there's the buckle on the back. And uh, yeah, here we go with the, the front view without the model, zipped and unzipped. And side view, I really like these sleeve things. I think they're really fun. And yeah, back view, close up of some of the stuff. So these straps on the arms, I think they're really interesting and different. And on the other side and the back. And yeah, close up, you can see the, the texture on that. Um, and then we've got our D rings and um, yeah, one of the punk rave buttons and the zip. Ah, yeah, these, I think they're really fun. 
and the fabric and yeah different ways to wear it and here we go with the size chart once again individual sizes for each one okay so now there is a black version and as you can see like you kind of lose again a lot of that accenting uh, but if you are into that darker all black goth look yeah it's got some fun fun kind of shape to it and you still get some of that um, same look although like with the sleeves there's less contrast so that's why I like the black and red personally but yeah it still looks fun in the all black and yeah pretty much all the same details so there you go now the last item for today is a mask another mask we tried one before and it was really good and so at the moment it says sold out but you can always put your name and email in here to be notified when it comes back in stock it's the unisex goth blood snake face mask um, in the description our men's and women's unisex goth blood snake face mask is made from elastic black striking cloth stitched with cracked leather a blood red snake embroidered both sides of cracked leather strip gold ribbon knitted in the front middle uh, ear loops with elastic rubber band and adjustment buckle uh, nose equipped with shaping strip for better nose and mouth fit available sizes there's men's free size and women's free size so let's have a closer look and yeah it's kind of cute like the the last mask we looked at was all black with just a chain but this is actually introducing some color and there's those fun little snakes on there um yeah i i love these kind of interesting designs that are coming out like for me that's the best thing about the pandemic is uh finally because uh yeah not too many places used to have this outside of you know places like japan where i used to get them so this is exciting and also because it's that same sort of black and red look and I mean when we're talking about red most of the red is trimming and so this is a sort of thin red stitching on there. I think it matches really well and that's going to be really fun. So yeah and you can see this is how the, the ears work and I actually found them on the last one really easy to use and we've got this in the front um, for a little bit of interesting texture and close up of the snakes. And um, yeah, so the, the different sizes, it's it's not like on small, medium, large. It's just like generally male, generally female. But if you measure yourself and you fit one or the other, it doesn't really make a difference. So yeah, that's all the items for today. Okay, so I guess the first thing you guys might want to know is about shipping. And as you can see from the website, um, I think everything's coming from China at the moment. But obviously with global events, uh, that's become a little bit more complicated than before. So what I'm told is that Punk Rave Australia, they're going to be partnering with Aramex Australia uh, for all the international shipping. And that takes about 10 to 14 days. I can't really tell you exactly what that's like at the moment, though, because I haven't experienced it. I actually got most of the items in a previous review. And the last one that I was waiting for came by Express Post with a whole bunch of other stuff that we're going to be reviewing later. So yeah, my experience of shipping for this review is not really representative of how it's actually going to be, but in the past, like, I've generally had good experiences with it all. Okay, so let's start with opening this big package. I'm going to have a look and find my pre-order, and then I'll show you all the different items. Woo! We've got three satchels, and they've actually marked out which one's which so that I know which one to open. They're really thoughtful like that, so let's get into this one. All right, wow, so the stuff that I got in the previous review all came in plastic, whereas the new item has come in one of these little fabric bags. I haven't seen one of them in a while. Okay, so I'll open them in the same order that we did the website, so we're gonna start off with the top. As usual, keep an eye out for the little silica packets, and they also put a little bit of tissue paper in all the items. Ooh, the fabric feels really nice straight away. It's like actually got a little bit of thickness to it. So here we are, it's a little bit on the shorter, sort of cropped end of how these tops go. Here's a closer look at all the seams, and then under the sleeve where it's not decorative, it's just like more of a normal, standard sort of seam. And then up the front we have those square eyelets with that really shiny silver, and also this ribbon lacing in the middle, it's sort of got a velvety kind of feel to it. And I'll just show you the other side of the eyelets so um, there's actually a panel there so you know there's no awkward gaps and there's none of the like you know there's no metal touching your skin it's really good if you have any of those sensitivities so yeah cute I, I really like this one I think it's gonna be really comfy and I can't wait to try it on next up the pants it has this zip lock on top so you could totally reuse this bag for something if you wanted to randomly came with a plastic bag in it I'm not sure why <laughs> all right cool I really like these two like straight out of the bag um, it's got a really nice feeling like I like this sort of fabric that they use. So we'll start from the top and as you can see you've got your 
your little belt loops all the way around and then we've got this skull button which we've seen before. Now because the skull button is so big I have found that if you try and wear a belt with it and try and go over it it gets a little bit awkward so you want to try and like angle your belt either above or below it um, just so that you can still see this and also not have it like pressing in a weird way but yeah I really love that as a detail. And then we've got this really solid zip and there's two pockets and what's really interesting is like like so this is the real pocket up here down here it's just like a pocket flap but the button doesn't come off and it doesn't actually have any like pocket underneath it so I find it kind of interesting that that appears like at the bottom of where this pocket is. And then I really love this combination of the, the black mesh over the red fabric. Now what's going on, the red fabric is actually a textured fabric, that's why you get all these extra little patterns in here. Um, and then the mesh is just like this plain black stuff. So um, instead, like, you know, they could have just done like a plain red panel and then this stuff over the top, but I don't think it would look nearly as nice. And so yeah, it's really cool that they've used um, a, a red with like little black patterns in it. I think it adds something extra. And then there's this cute detail here and um, yeah, it looks really good. I like in person, I really like this. Um, I was a bit hard for me to see uh, on the website, but now that I can see it in person, like yeah, it really makes sense to me. Now, maybe the black in the red fabric distracts a little bit, but yeah, I think it's really well done. There's a closer look. And then I even love this transition from that panel into the, the black again, like just the way that it's sewn on there. It looks really nice and really neatly done. On to the other side, so it's kind of a similar thing, like you've got the real pocket and then you've got a zip. Now this zip does open, but like there's nothing under there. It's just like that. And then on this side with the main decoration, so um, we could see really clearly on the website this roping, right? But underneath it, it's actually that same red fabric also with the mesh under there. So like keeping with the theme. And I love the way that it kind of like peeks through. Sort of like when you've got a crack in a lava flow and you've just got like, you know, it's mostly this black solidified rock but then you have a little bit of red fire peeking through. I really love that effect. And then as it curves around to the back, I can actually see that red fabric does peek through all the way to the end. You don't really see it so much, but it's there. And yet on the front of the leg, um, where it transitions back into the main black panel, it has that same really nicely finished up edging. And then on the back we have more pockets! Otherwise the back is pretty plain, which, um, you know, is really good for sitting on. You don't want like weird lumps and stuff on the back. So yeah, really comfy. All right, time for the big one. Let's move on to the jacket. Oh my god, wow, the fabric on this. Like, it's it's not what I was expecting. It's really nice. It's got this sort of fluffy feel to it. I'm not great with fabrics, but like maybe like a wool kind of feel. I don't know. It's really nice. And yeah, I think I get what they mean now when they say it has a really nice weight to it. All right, so starting from the top, I also really love this red fabric in here. Um, it has more of a smooth feel compared to the outside of the jacket, and it has a really cool red crackled texture. I love that so much. And then we have the zip which works really nicely. It's really smooth. Now all these highlighted seams, they're in that same smooth red crackled fabric that we have in there. Um, it's a little bit subtle so on the website like it just looked like solid red but yeah no I can actually see it has that crackling in it which is really cool. And then we have the shoulders and they're actually padded on the inside and you can see this decoration here. Now on the website they mentioned something about pentagrams but I think that might have just been like a mistake. It's actually just like there's stars on these buttons. Um, yeah, which isn't really a pentagram, it's just a star. But they are really nice and thick and solid, and yeah, I love these little extra decorations. Has that sort of military vibe, if you can see, yeah, there you go. If you can see, um, you know, like that, that symbol around the star, I don't know what you call that, like a fern or a wreath or something. So yeah, it adds to that military kind of vibe. Coming down the sleeve, so we have these buckles, and they're really solid, and once again, that same crackled red fabric. Um, now these do look like they're adjustable, but I don't think you would want to adjust them because, um, you know, it, it fits with the sleeve really well. Like, I don't think you get any benefit from making it tighter or looser, so I reckon leave them as they are. And then right at the bottom, so we have this decoration, and yeah, once again, the red crackle, and I think that makes it even more interesting and more exciting than I already thought. Now, coming back to the front, so um, you can see more of those decorations, but we've also got these D-rings, and they feel pretty sturdy. You could probably hook something onto that. Um, I'm thinking, like, maybe those bears I did in the accessories video a while back, although they might not quite fit this sort of military vibe but you know it's a possibility um, and then also around the zips you can see these more subtle seams um, surrounding the zip um, as opposed to these really loud ones and I'm not sure how well you can see it but on the back you can also see similar thick black seams um, at certain points that I think help with the shaping but also have their own little effect. You might be able to see a bit better on the sleeve so here we've got the red like loud sort of seam and then we've got this more subtle 
black sort of seam. And then on the underside of the sleeve where it's not really visible, it's just a regular seam as opposed to one of those thicker sort of ones that form a bit of a decoration. I hope that kind of makes sense. Okay, so now I'll open it up and show you the inside. So as you can see, lining that area around the zipper is more of this amazing red fabric. So if you open up the jack a little bit, you will get flashes of this peeking through. And that goes all the way down to the end of the jacket, like even past where the zipper stops. So just walking around, you will get flashes of this, which I think is really cool, really fits that black and red vibe. And like, you know, I said, with the pants, you get that sort of glimpses of the lava flow. Now the fabric on the inside is basically the same as what's on the outside, so there's not really any lining in here. It still feels really nice on both sides though. I mean, you're probably going to be wearing a lot of stuff underneath it, so you're not going to feel that very much, but if you do, it feels fine. There is a bit of lining in the sleeves though, so if I just turn that out, you can see it's very smooth and silky, so if you're wearing short sleeves under this, yeah, it feels really nice. Something I've just noticed that's a bit weird, um, so here we can see like, it's sort of like a pocket flap, but it doesn't really open, so I thought maybe it's a fake pocket Pocket. But then on the inside we have this funny little flap here except that like it's not a pocket It's just sort of like hanging on by this thing and I'm not really sure what the purpose is So if anyone knows please let me know because like I'm not an expert on all these little clothing things I can get my fingers sort of in the edges of the pocket opening though So like it is possible to get something inside there So I don't know if like maybe uh, you're meant to like open the stitching or what so that you can make a pocket I'm not really sure I don't really know what's going on there So with this odd little detail it is kind of woolly on one side and then it has more of that silky lining on the other side Side. Definitely a little bit mysterious. I mean, I, I think it's probably meant to be a pocket and maybe they sew it shut for something to do with shipping. I'm not sure. Um, I might send them an email and ask about that. And if we have an update, I'll either put it in the video or it might be in the video description or something. Um, yeah, just odd. But I think if there are pockets, that's really good because anytime you have a jacket with pockets, it makes things so much easier. Okay, so Punk Rave Australia got back to me, and yeah, it is meant to be a pocket, um, so you are able to unstitch that. I think if you can see, like, it's already a loose stitching, so if I just get, you know, you probably want to use a non-picker, but I'm just using a, a sewing needle. Um, basically anything that'll fit in there, you just get those really loose ones. Um, sorry, it's a bit hard to film and see what I'm doing at the same time. Um, but yeah, so like, it's already loose, which means, yeah, it's meant to be unpicked. Um, now they told me the reason that they do this is something to do with like, so you can tell the difference between a new and uh, a used, like, you know, secondhand kind of garment. But I also found on the internet one of the reasons manufacturers do this is um, because they don't want the pockets to get out of shape. And also, like, if people are trying these kinds of things on, they don't want to, um, you know, like with people rubbing against them all the time. And also, like, people putting, trying to put their hands in pockets, you know, the hygiene, especially during COVID, you know, it's a good idea. But, you know, being an online item, that's less important. Um, I think, sorry, I really should have got an unpicker. I think mum's got one, but, you know. Uh, but, yeah, so, like, basically it's about keeping the shape. And some people, um, like, you know, usually this, this happens in suits, those proper dress suits. Apparently some people like to keep them closed so that they always keep that, that really nice crisp, crisp shape. Um... But, you know, like, it's a pocket, it's designed to be used. I feel like I want pockets to put my hands in, especially when they get cold, you know, when you're out and about. Um, so I'm unpicking mine. Uh, advice online is um, to make sure that the pocket does keep some shape. Don't put anything too heavy in it. Um, so I guess, like, yeah, mainly your hands or something small, like your keys or whatever. But, um, yeah. So I'm just going to keep on picking this probably off camera because it's going to take me a while. But I hope that clears things up. I learned something. Um, yeah, it keeps, keeps the pocket and also like the overall shape of the garment really nice from, you know, the manufacturers through shipping through to when it gets to you, potentially in a shop when people are trying things on. Um, and it also gives you options. If you don't need pockets, you can keep that really crisp shape. But if you do need pockets, you just open it up and you're ready to go. All right, all done. We have a pocket. Woo! Nice. Feels good. And I guess one last piece of advice when you do see sewn up pockets like this, um, do make sure that there is actually like an inside pocket bit um, because, you know, if there's not, you might be making a huge hole in your jacket. And that's why I just wanted to check with Punk Rave Australia. Um, they talk to the manufacturers about it. And yeah, it's, it's just one of those things. Um, so clearly this is a pocket. But if you don't see something like this on the inside, it might not actually be that. Um, yeah, and I'm guessing that this thing that's holding it on, um, that's also to keep the pocket like from flapping about. Um, so yeah, cool. Awesome. I got a couple of pockets. 
And now back to the rest of the video. And uh, now that I've opened it up, as you can see, that, that woolen texture has the tiniest little bit of see-through. Like it's not just a flat kind of thing. It's, it's actually got texture to it, which is really kind of nice. Okay, so the last one for today is the mask. <laughs> oh my god, I just like ripped the whole bag open. <laughs> And cute, they put the, uh, the tissue paper in the silica packet. Oh my god, it's so nice. So like the fabric on the outside, like it's this really smooth where the embroider, like underneath where the embroidery is. I really love that texture. And then this front panel, it's that black crackled sort of leathery look that we've seen before in a few of their items. I really like that. Now the website said something about gold fabric. I don't think there's any gold fabric. That might be another mistake. Um, it's just this sort of black, but it's like the way that it's done. It's really cool. I love that texture. It's so interesting. Oh wait, I can see the gold bit. It's super subtle. It's actually in here. Um, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that on camera, but you can see that tiny little bit of shine. Um, that might be what they mean by the gold thread. Wow. My god, there's so many tiny details. And then, yeah, the little nose wire, really easy to adjust. On the inside, they have this lining, which, um, I've had before on the other mask that I got from them, which I have been wearing everywhere. I love it so much. Like, it's really nice and really easy for me to breathe in. And I think this is, like, pretty much the same. Yeah, this is really good. I love it. And then here's the same loops that they had on the other mask, um, which, yeah, it's easy to move, but, like, it's it's not going to be too loose. So yeah, really good to have these adjustments. They're really simple. Oh my god, I love it so much. It feels really nice to wear. Just got to get the nose bridge right so I don't fog up my glasses. But yeah, oh my god, straight away. I love it so much. Well, yeah, I don't know how they do it, like if it's the fabric choice or if it's the way that they've shaped it, but this is so much easier for me to breathe in than some of the ones that I've got, like just shopping around Australia. Like I have tried a few different masks and it's just not gone well. But these ones that Punk Rave Australia are putting out, like... I can breathe in this and it looks amazing. I'm so happy. All right, so that's all the items for today on Box and all my first impressions of them. I'm gonna go and get dressed so we can see how they all come together. All right, so I'm all set and I'm gonna do some twirls for you. Now I am gonna put the measurements both for myself and the items in the corners so that you can compare my size versus all this. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. Okay, so that was how the outfit looks on me. I hope you enjoyed those twirls. Um, now to talk about it, I'm gonna take the mask off because we've already kind of addressed most of that. Like the size is really good for my face. Um, the fabric feels really nice. I can breathe in it. Yeah, I really love this mask overall. So I'll just set that aside and we'll talk about the rest of the outfit. So we'll start with the top and yeah, it's basically what I expected, really comfy to wear. One thing I was less certain about is when I put it on, right? So like it's cropped and you can see my stomach, which like I don't have many clothes that do that. So it was a bit of a like, oh wow. <laughs> so it looks really cool and different. But what I worried about was like, oh my gosh, so now I've got long sleeves 
sleeves, but my stomach's showing, like, what weather do I wear this in? Because long sleeves you generally wear in, like, cooler weather, whereas, like, showing your stomach is more in warmer weather, and so my brain's going, hang on, how does this work? But actually, once I put everything on, like, the jacket and the pants and all that, and I went outside, um, it was actually, like, really perfect for today's weather. In Sydney at the moment, like, we're right on the edge of summer, but La Nina has hit, so it's actually colder than it should be. It feels more like autumn or something. So this is actually perfect for going out in this. And even though I'm showing my stomach, like, it's sort of like... It's, it's a weird weather where you're trying to go between like not dressing too warm but not dressing too cold. It's that sort of in between. So oddly enough, I think having the long sleeves and then the exposed stomach, it kind of like gets that happy medium somehow. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really surprised to say that the top worked out really nicely and it's really perfect for right now in Sydney. Another thing about that exposed middle is um, it means I do feel the inside of this jacket a little bit more. And at first I was like, oh, that's a bit odd. But now that I've settled into it, it feels really fine. Speaking of, if we move into the jacket, so yeah, it fits me really nicely. Like, I really love this. It's actually kind of distracting sitting here because I can see myself in the phone screen and I'm just like, oh my god, I love it. I'm also really glad I asked for the red version because as I'm walking around and I'm like reaching for things, uh, I can actually see like all the decorations there and it just makes me happy to see that like as I'm going about my things. I'm like, yes! This is me. Now I will say with the way that I prefer to wear it, I think it looks better on me with it open rather than closed. Like once it was closed, to me the shape, it felt a little bit odd and it's just not, I don't know, I prefer having it open so I have more of that cape kind of feel and then you can see the outfit underneath. And um, again, that also worked really nicely with the weather that we're having at the moment. Um, and yeah, so that you do get to um, play with the top, like the shape of it, having the exposed stomach and all that. Like it's this really good like combination. I was kind of not expecting it once I, like when I first put it on, I thought, oh, this is a bit odd, you know, like warm clothes with an exposed stomach. But once I went outside, I was like, wow, that works really well. So sometimes I think I just need to be a little bit more open with how I dress. Picture me butting in here. I realized I forgot to mention that it's actually really easy to move in as well. Like I tried to show that in the twirls, but look, no limit to my range of movement, which is exactly what you want. It's amazing. I realized I've jumped ahead. Um, so for the last one, the pants, um, so they fit really well. I will say though, they're a little bit on the tight end. I mean, they're all individual sizes rather than like, you know, the combined extra small to small. No, this is just the small size. And I am sort of like on the large edge of that. Um, and they're, they're sort of like the skinny jeans, skinny pants kind of vibe. So if you're someone who wants like maybe a little bit of extra room, and you're on the edge of a sizing, you could consider going up a size. I've done that previously with Punk Rave Australia. I actually have one of their other pants in a medium size and that fits really well as well, but gives you a little bit more breathing space. That said, they are really comfortable. They fit me really nicely. Um, and maybe the main issue is, is like, I decided to sit cross-legged on the floor today, which was a bit of a mistake because then the top of the pants sort of digs into my stomach a little bit. And at first I was like, oh, maybe I should unbuckle that top button. But now that I've been sitting for a while, actually it feels fine. Um, it was just that initial reaction. Also sitting cross-legged, um, the angle on my knees is just sort of pulling that knee section a little bit. But I did sit on a proper chair just to check and it's fine. Um, so yeah, that's just, if you're not used to the sort of skinny jeans kind of feel and that tighter kind of feel and you're on the edge of a size, maybe consider going up one. Um, it, it does get a little bit looser, but it still works. So you do have a little bit of room to play with which size you prefer, which look you prefer, whether you prefer tight or you want a little bit more space. Otherwise though, they feel really comfy. Like the fabric is so nice. There's nothing annoying about the seams in it. And same with the top, like, you know, we've got these things that are very loud, like loud seams visually, but the way that they feel like, I <laughs> didn't even think about it until now. Like that's how unnoticeable they are to me. And you know, I'm someone who used to have a lot of trouble buying clothes because like I'd get picky about fabrics so the fact that Punk Rave Australia can keep finding me fabrics that I like and putting them together in a way that doesn't annoy me I'm super impressed by that and then yeah I guess the last thing to say is I really like the way that the outfit came together I mean I did have that moment of like crop top wintry kinds of stuff that was a moment of confusion but walking outside in this weather this sort of like mid-autumn you know Sydney weather because I realized winter and autumn in other countries are a bit different to here we're a little bit wimpy in Australia we're used to warm weather <laughs> um, but yeah no for the current weather that we've got in Sydney uh, it's actually really nice like thank god today is not raining um, 
But yeah, I, I really like the way that it looks together and I love this jacket. I think this is my favorite thing today. And then the way it all goes together with this snake, like all the little, the, it, like, you know, overall it's mainly black, but then all these little red features, it works really nicely with this. So it's a really nice match. Like I love my other mask, but when you're trying to combine color combinations, it really helps to have one that just automatically fits in. And I mean, how cute are those snakes as well? I love it. Now I have changed my mind a little bit. Like in the intro, I think I said, um, they had a little bit of a vampire vibe, but I'm definitely getting much more of the military vibe. I mean, I guess you can cross them over, um, but yeah, definitely getting more of the military vibe compared to the vampire vibes, although the red and black thing really fits that, and I really love that, so... I could be both. Okay, so to sum up, so in terms of size, everything fits me really nicely. Um, maybe the pants is the one area that I would consider going up a size, although it actually fits really nicely, especially now that I've settled into them. You know, as you wear stuff, you get a little bit of stretch. The way everything fits my body is also really nice and the fabrics are really good. Like there's nothing really annoying. They always do a really good job choosing the fabrics and putting it all together. And then yeah, I think it looks amazing. It's, it's very me, the red and black vibes. It's a lot of fun and also COVID safe, so bonus, I can wear it wherever. Now, if you're thinking of getting any of the items from today, I hope this video helped you out. Um, usually there's like a discount code, but I forgot to ask, so I will shoot off an email, and once I get an update, I'll either like edit something in here, or I'll put it in the video description so that you can see what the discount might be. As usual, I'd like to thank Punk Rave Australia so much for having me on to do these reviews. They're a lot of fun, and like, I feel so amazing in all their clothes. I love it so much. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do give us a like and also subscribe to our channels. There's my channel, Destroy America. I do a lot of vlogs and other kinds of stuff. Or there's the Punk Rave Australia channel if you just want all the fashion reviews. Um, we're trying to build that channel a little bit, so it would really help us out if you did subscribe. Also, if you know anyone who's into this style, maybe wants a little bit more information, please do share it with them. And also, if you have any comments, just leave them down below. I read all of the ones on my channel and I occasionally check the Punk Rave Australia channel, but that one's run by them, not me so I might miss them. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time when we open another outfit from my big parcel. See you later guys!